Hi there, my name's Simon Tumier and I play the English concertina. It sounds like this. Yes, I learned it. I, I started playing the English concertina when I was 12 and I already played a few instruments before that, the recorder and the Scottish bagpipes. And uh, I just love it. I love this instrument. It's, uh, it just makes me so happy when I play it. You get different kinds of concertina. So as I say, this is an English concertina and you get oh, what we call the Anglo concertina, which is a, an instrument you will hear often played more in Ireland nowadays, but also all over in England. You also get an instrument called the duet concertina. Now the difference between the English concertina and the Anglo concertina is a funny because they've got, kind of got a similar name. So the English concertina, this one here, is a chromatic concertina. That means you can play all the white notes and all the black notes of, like a piano. <laughs> And an Anglo concertina is what's called a diatonic instrument and it plays within a certain key. So uh, you might be, you might get a G, D concertina, but really what it means is it can't play all the white notes and the black notes, but it's still got a lot of notes. Also, the major difference between the English concertina and the Anglo concertina is the English concertina has got the same note on both bellows. So when I pull it out, I've got the same note as when I push in, but on the Anglo concertina, it's got a different note, so the, which makes it sound different when you play it. It's actually quite like a mouth organ. Um, it sounds a bit the same idea as a mouth organ or a melodeon. So anyway, this is the enemy. The English concertina is the instrument that I play. And uh, this one's a 56 key and it's got four octaves but you get many English concertinas which are 48 keys, which has got three and a half octaves, roughly. You get them, this is a metal-ended one, and this sounds quite bright, and you get wooden-ended ones, which sound a bit more mellow. And, uh, but there's people doing really interesting things with concertinas at the moment, and they're making 3D printed concertinas, and there's the guys that are making MIDI concertinas and it's all really exciting at the moment. So if you were to start playing the English concertina, you'd find it really, really exciting. Um, what else can I say? I'm going to play you another tune. I think I'm going to, so I'm from Scotland, if you can hear from my accent, and uh, I play a lot of Scottish music. I love Scottish music. It just makes you want to dance. So I'm going to play one of the most famous Scottish dances. It's called the Dashing White Sergeant. <laughs> Now, I think the concertina has the most beautiful sound and uh, I just, it just makes me feel good to play. If I was to play you a, a, 
a beautiful slow air. So as you'll hear from the end of that there, it doesn't just play single notes, it plays chords just like a piano as well. And, uh, and just before I finish talking about this beautiful instrument, uh, what is another great thing about it is that it's so small. You can see and it makes lots of noise. And you can take it anywhere. You can take it on aeroplanes, you can take it in cars, and it's not very heavy. <laughs> um, I totally recommend the English Concertina. So go and look it up, the English Concertina. Nice to speak to you.